Sean and I have uh, been blessed with the opportunity to spend a couple of weeks in Maui uh, with some friends and with our son and daughter-in-law uh, next week. And as I was sitting here uh, in this beautiful condo overlooking the ocean, um, it's hard not to think about how wonderful the Lord is. You know, I'm not talking about modern technology and noisy automobiles driving by. I'm, I'm talking about the beauty of the earth, that it, it is so amazing. You know, when you fly, we flew from Salt Lake to Maui. When you fly here, all this noise. Seriously, I don't know what happened there. I'm not in. Uh, I'm not in Los Angeles. I'm in Maui. It just got really loud. But we flew from Salt Lake City, and, and it's interesting as you fly from Salt Lake uh, to Maui. Once you once you pass over California, you're flying over the ocean for hours. Several hours, I think it was a six hour flight. And it's overwhelming when you look down at the water and you think, this earth is so huge. It's really, really big. But in the cosmic picture of things, it's really, really small. You know, we know that God created worlds without number. And according to the scriptures and prophets, he put his children on all of those worlds. When you're flying over earth, it seems so big. But when you think about earth, even in our solar system, it's one of the smaller planets. And when you get beyond our solar system and you look at the galaxy, we're we're, we're not even a dot. And then to think that our galaxy only makes up a fraction, an absolute fraction of the multiple galaxies our Father in Heaven created through His Son Jesus Christ throughout the universe. It is overwhelming. It's overwhelming to think how small we are in such a vast universe. But I am one of many who believes we are not alone. There are people just like you and me, just like you and me. I don't mean a, a I don't mean a, a duplicate. What do they call it? A, a another world, another Earth, with you and me on it. I, I can't think of the term. I don't mean that. I mean it's amazing to think that there are people like you and me, flesh and blood, all over the universe living out their lives, trying their best to be their best. And I believe all of those people have the same understanding of the Creator that we do. They have the plan of salvation. They know who the Savior is. And they know the planet where He was born, where He was raised, where He preached His Gospel, where He gave the infinite atonement was crucified, died, and rose again. All of those things impact the lives of every person on every planet in every galaxy of this massive universe. And what a wonderful little tidbit, tidbit of knowledge it is to know that we're not alone. We are not alone. Agency is the, probably the greatest gift God gave us. Agency to choose. I believe he gave it to all of his children living everywhere. And many of them choose good and many of them don't. I firmly believe they have, many of them have advanced with technology and have the ability to come here. And if you think about it, if you lived on another world, in another galaxy, and you, you had the plan of salvation, and you were a believer, and you knew where the Savior was born, the planet he lived on, and you had the wherewithal to visit that planet, wouldn't you go? Absolutely you would go. Now, I'm not talking about little green men with antennas sticking out of their heads. 
I'm not talking about reptilians or other strange creatures. I'm not saying that they don't exist or didn't exist. Maybe they do. Maybe they did. But I'm talking about people like you and me. Maybe you bumped into them walking through a grocery store and didn't even realize it. Maybe you saw them on the beach. Maybe you saw them walking down a busy city street. But I'll tell you one thing. If I lived on another planet and I had the ability to come to the planet where the Son of God, the Savior of the universe was born, I would go. I would go. But I'll tell you what else it does for me. It reminds me of how blessed I am to live on this planet, to live on Earth, to live on the planet that holds the fate of every other world in its hands. The things that happen here, the atonement, the resurrection, the second coming, it all impacts worlds without number everywhere. I'm so grateful for that knowledge. More grateful to know that I live on this planet and to know that I have a testimony of God the Father, my Father in Heaven, our Heavenly Father, and to have a testimony of His Son, Jesus Christ. What a blessing. Being in Hawaii for two weeks is wonderful. It's great. I hope I can get some more writing done. But it wouldn't matter if I was sitting in Hawaii or a desert or in a big city. It wouldn't matter. It's all the same. We're all blessed to be here on Earth, to be participating in this great plan of salvation. And I'm so grateful to be a part of it, to be this tiny, tiny little speck out in the universe. And I'm grateful for friends and family, people like you, who are just doing the best they can. One of the things I've learned in my 61 years of life, the most important thing we can do, the two greatest commandments, the first commandment is to love God with all your heart, and the second is to love your fellow man. I think the greatest thing we can do is love one another. Love one another. It's not our job to teach, preach, and convert. We do that when people, when our children are young. But we have to allow people to have agency. We just have to love one another. And I'm grateful for that knowledge. I'm grateful that I have the opportunity to just share a message today. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And I hope you never forget all the incredible blessings of being a child of God and being here.